Hi there, Johnny here from johnnyelectronstudios.co.uk and in today's Studio One 3.5 video we're going to look at further MIDI editing options. I'm going to show you something very, very cool that you can do. Uh, but first of all, we're going to take a look at what we have here. What we have here is a very badly played cymbal roll by me bashing away on my MIDI keyboard like a man possessed. And this is what I got. Yeah, not great. Not particularly uh, pleasant to listen to. But what if I wanted to give this uh, a swell? I don't have a, uh, a volume pedal or um, anything like that that would do that on my keyboard automatically. So I'm going to have to edit it. So here's how we do that. And I have covered this in another video, but I'm just going to quickly refresh that here because we're going to apply the same kind of concept to another parameter that you can edit in just a minute. So first thing we want to do is we want to select all of those notes. They're now all selected. Paint tool, and then point your mouse at the lowest velocity you can think of on the first note, and then click and drag across horizontally. And now we have a nice, smooth little crescendo. So when I play that, it should sound a bit smoother. Which it undoubtedly does. It definitely sounds better. The playing, uh, the actual performance is still a bit sketchy, a bit ropey. But that's how you edit the velocity. That's really cool. What about editing pitch bend if you don't have a pitch wheel? Most MIDI controller keyboards have a pitch wheel. But um, not all of them do. Some of the, the smaller little keyboards maybe don't. Um, for space saving reasons. If that's what you've got, I'm going to show you how you can uh, make the changes you want and also I'm going to introduce you to the next new feature. Normally what I would have to do is I would now have to close this out and then double click this event and open this event here. And now I'm on my harmonica part here. Symbol swell harmonica, I know what you're thinking. They're not going to sound good together. That's okay. They're not meant to. These are just examples. Um, so now we've got this harmonica part in blue. Back in previous versions, I would edit this and then go back and let's say adjust another part that goes with it that's maybe in harmony with it. Like maybe I've got a guitar that goes with it that, that um, plays the same notes a third apart. Plausible. And I want to tidy both of them up and maybe give them both the same velocities or um, a little bit of aftertouch on, on both in the same place. You can do that a lot easier now because now we have this over here. We have this track list section. And what is very cool about this is I can make the cymbal swell and the harmonica appear in the same edit window like this. And there we go. See, you can see the automation for the symbol swell there. And if I go back to my pointer tool and scroll this, there you have the symbol swell underneath it. Now, what is particularly cool is I am in my harmonica page here. I've got the harmonica, which is the presence instrument here, highlighted. If I go and try and edit these notes, um, I can do so, but they are kind of off yellow instead of bright yellow. So they're not in focus and neither is the automation there. They're not in focus either. The blue ones for the harmonica are in focus. And if we look up here, these are bright blue. Now, if I were to click over to the contact five for the cymbal swell, now my blue harmonica notes are grayed out and I can, can scroll down and here's my yellow uh, cymbal swell part. Now this is good when you've got notes that are um, a little bit away from each other like these are. 
this part and this part don't cross over at all. Um, in this editing window here, they do cross they do cross over a little bit. So you have to be careful which bit that you click on for editing purposes. Um, but when they're in focus, you can see which ones you need to edit because the, the yellow is now bright. But if I go back to the presence, the yellow kind of goes grayed out, sort of, like this. Kind of browned out, I guess. I don't know. So that is a particularly fantastic new feature. And this is really useful if you're doing horn arranging using a virtual horn section like Session Horns from Native Instruments or the Chris Hine Horns or the Phoenix Horns sample package. Perfect, this is, because you can line up precise little horn lines and give them their own little crescendos here, crescendo there. You can do all of that um, in the one page and you're just selecting the different foc different tracks that you want for focus. Very, very cool. Um, it's going to be, for me, I do virtual horn arranging for mock-ups that I then get real musicians to play afterwards. So this is perfect for me because I can mock up in tremendous detail what I would like my guys to play, and then they've got something to listen to, uh, where there are pitch bends or where there are crescendos and swells that kind of stuff. I can edit all of that in one window. It's brilliant. So the other thing I was going to show you was pitch bend with my harmonica. I'm going to turn off the contact one for now so that I'm purely just looking at this. It's hidden from this view. So let's say I want to um, pitch bend some of these notes. Let's pick out which ones we, we would like to to do that with. That's the harmonica uh, in presence. It's a fantastically lovely sounding patch with a little bit of delay and reverb on there. So let's say this note here we want to bend upwards and about halfway through this note we want to bend downwards. I'm going to show you how to do that. Select the note, and then you need to make a little automation node here. So we click, we create a node, and let's say about halfway up here, we want to pitch this up like that. But then, before we get to this note, we need to release the pitch bend. So then I make another node, and I bring it back down to this middle line which is perfect in tune so let's play that section and we should hear this note bend up alright doesn't sound too bad I can finesse that if I so choose that's no problem let's say about halfway through this note we want this note to change Pitch. We want to pitch this one down, I think. And then we'll hold it to almost the end. So about there. So let's drag this one down. But then I want to release the, the pitch bend back to zero. So that uh, it's, it's reset. So that's fine. I create another pitch bend node there. And we bring it back. So let's try the whole thing. And there you have it. That is how you edit pitch pen. And that is how you have two uh, MIDI edit windows open, or rather the one MIDI edit window open with all of your MIDI tracks available to you in this track list. Very cool feature. I hope you found that helpful. And until the next video, bye for now.